Hello everybody, and welcome to a new tutorial series, um, in Game Maker Studio 2. I will be showing you how to make a space invaders light game. It won't be exactly the same, but it should be pretty cool and pretty interesting. And I will show you step by step. The only thing you'll have to do, well, for other than following it, is to make the assets. I'll show you some examples. Well, like one example that I make, but that's all. And then otherwise, we will be, um, we'll, um, I'll show you the code and everything you need to know. Okay, let's get started. In episode one, today, we will be creating the characters in a simple movement. To create the characters, we'll go to create sprite. We'll, no, we'll go to sprites. We'll right click it. Do control sprite. I mean, create sprite. Uh, go here. Um, you can name it whatever you want. I, um, for like the first part of the tag, for sprites, I like to do spr underscore and then the name. This will be the player, so I'm just gonna do player. And then. Um, we're gonna go to edit image and then it brings up this here over here you can choose your colors your tools text drawing eraser fill shapes and layers which I'm not 100% sure out and then these are like shapes and sizes I'm just gonna make a simple player and I'm gonna make it out of black like this. Actually, wait, no. I'm going to make it out of <laughs> cyan, I guess. What? Hold on. Yeah, it's a click. Yeah, and then I'm gonna make. I'm just gonna make it like this mini gun station. Dun, 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 dun. And then we'll just finally add this. Just make it as small as you can until it gets to one. And just because this looks weird right here, let's just add another box. And we'll just delete this because we don't need it exact. We don't need it that big. This is gonna be able to move left and right. So yeah. And then if we want to, we can animate it by adding another frame. Let's just do... Hmm, I don't know. Try it. Whoops. Yeah, for triangles, you have to do, like, points. Let's just do that, and then we'll just have some circles. Cause There. And then we'll just add another circle up here. Oh, when that commit, commit tool changes, you can just click yes. But it just wants to make sure that you want to change your tool. And then we'll just save this. And we won't actually bother with animation. And then uh, you guys can actually make it how you want. This is just an example. I mean, 
It's not even that good. Like, I'm not very good with it. Just drawing and everything. And, I mean, I hope you can hear me. Um, because lately we ha I've been having trouble with, like, hearing. And, yeah. Like, with you being able to hear me. But, hopefully you can hear me today. Because there's no music in the background. Um, we'll make the origin board middle center. And the collision max, we'll make sure it's kind of that. Uh, we might make it... Yeah, actually, we'll just keep it. Because we want the, we want to give the players a little leeway. So it, if it hits right there, we don't actually want it. So we'll actually go to manual. A little bit more down. So it has to, like, hit the base. Because the players, they don't like... You're right, right, am I right? They don't like, like, right if it's, it's very sensitive to dying. So, like, if it touches the very point, you'll die. So, we have to touch the, the collision mask for to die later on. Okay, now that we're done, we'll just quickly save it, and we can close this up. Now, we will create an, o an object and set the sprite for the object to the player. And we'll also name that object uh, player. But the difference will be that, so for sprites I put SPR, and for um, objects I put OBJ. And then I put underscore player, and there we go. So we'll just set that sprite to that. And then we'll place it into the room. Rooms are basically the areas of the game. Before we do that, though, we'll name our room game, like because it's the main game area. So we'll just, I am um, for these. I put the tag RM game. Well, not RM game, but like RM. And then we'll open that up. Double click by double clicking it, and we'll open this. This is the room. This is what the game looks like. We'll just set the background. Oops. We'll just set the background to a nice, I don't know, green color. And then on an instances layer, we'll drag in the player. Oh, we can make it a bit bigger. And then, make it a little smaller. Because we want to, uh, We don't want it to be too big. We want it to be kind of in line. Oh, darn. We want it to be in line with the thing a bit. Oh, actually, we'll just go back here and add a little more of a square. We can click that to get our previous colors. And that should change. One more layer. <laughs> it's a lot of, like, um, little things. Yeah, that'll do. And then you can place your character anywhere. I'm just placing mine there. You can place it up here for the episode one, because all we're doing is movement and stuff. So it doesn't need to be, um, exactly. It doesn't need to be exactly um, perfect, and it, it could be up here if you want. Place, we'll place it where you want. Uh, next, we'll create the movement, so the actual coding. Here we go. So we're gonna create a create inst um, component, and and we will create a speed variable named speed. The reason we can't do speed is because it's a built-in variable, um, and that means we couldn't change it. Well, we could change it, but it's like a built-in, so you don't like you want to make your own and set it to your own values. So we're gonna name, do SPD. Then we're gonna set that to equal. 
um, I'll set it to five, cause that we want. We, you can change that. That's the good thing. The speed will set it for like universally. So, well, for the player at least, um, you can set it to global. Um, global dot speed if you want it to be throughout the whole game, not having to have the player in the in the room or other stuff. But um. Yeah, so this is basically universal for the player. If you put SPD, we'll automatically take that value as 5. Um, so now we'll create a step component. Step, not begin step or end step, just step. And remember to save your stuff by clicking Control S. And then, um,. And now type this following line of code, and this will check to see if the A component is down, and if it is, well, A is down, and if it is, it will move the character to the left by speed, which is 5 pixels. So here, so if keyboard underscore check, let's check, open bracket again. Or for like the keyword, open bracket, and then you put the quotation marks. So you can put in an then uppercase, a close bracket, close bracket, three close brackets. It's because you have one bracket open, one bracket open, one bracket open. So it's three. And then we'll just set x to equal x minus speed. Oops, minus speed. A semicolon and then that will so check the keyboard to see if the keyboard has the A button pressed every step so 30 times a second and then X equals itself minus 5 which means it will move to the left by 5 pixels and actually before we move on this only checks 30 times a second but if we go into options main we can set this to 60 imply okay and i like 60 because it checks as much more and that means you have much smoother gameplay then we'll move on to the next line copy this basically check. but instead of a you'll put d because we only need left and right movement for space invaders and you'll still do x equals x except instead of minus it's plus and then that one went to the left and right now if we start the game whoops now if we start the game the player should be able to move to the left and right if we do everything correctly yeah no up or down just left and right but as you can see you can go out of the scene and never return turn, turn, which you don't want to do well, I mean, you return by going the other way, but it takes a while. There. And we want it so the player, when it gets here, it can't move any further. Or over here. So we're going to just add that final movement, that final code. Um, back to the step component. Ooh. We'll go down a few. And we'll type in if x is less than or greater or equal to 0 then x will equal 0 so that it can't go and then in the create we'll, we'll set another variable my width which is the screen width and it will equal to display underscore get underscore width and because it's a function we have to have that even though you're not putting anything in there and then uh, back here we'll do another if I know there's a lot um, x if x is greater than or equal to 
my width, very what we just created. Then x will equal my width, so that it can't move either. And then now, if we go back, hopefully, yep, you can't move out. Oh, hold on. We'll fix that next time. You can, it kind of stops you. Oh, I figured out, I know. So, in here, this is zero. Wait, oops. Zero is like right here. And then over here, it's like, what is it? 125. So we'll also set, we'll create, we'll copy this. And we'll do 1025. And we'll try that. I mean, I don't think it's going to work, but we'll give it a try. Oh. What? Why did the player start there? This doesn't work. We'll end it here. And I'll f show you the fix next time. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks for watching. This is part one to my tutorial series. Um, I know it's not the best, but um, we'll have this figured out next time. Uh, yeah. Because in my other game, this was fixed. Actually, yeah. See you next time. Next time we'll definitely have this fixed. And we'll, I'll tell you how we fixed it, how we changed it. So, bye for now.